Kim and Joshua, it was 100 miles in 24 hours. Those were some extremely athletic dogs. Now, the mushers tell me they have an advantage because they get to train in the off season using ATVs at high elevation right here in Colorado. <laughs> Our mascot, Icy Bay. I see. And there's a retired Mowgli there. Megan Forey and Jesse Flory are not married mushing buddies from Durango. No, our last names are really similar too. It's weird. The duo on the road right now for the peak of sled dog season. There's our sleds up top there. In tow are 16 Alaskan Huskies resting. Yeah, there's sleds. We have dogs in there and the dog boxes. Um, just a few of them. Okay. After holding up their okay. end of the deal and helping their team place 10th and 11th in the Idaho Sled Dog Challenge 100 mile race. <laughs> Did fall asleep at the second checkpoint for, I was going to close my eyes for a few minutes. And those are our stakes. We were at about fourth and fifth place at that point and um, fell asleep and woke up two hours later and everyone was gone. The duo says the 100 mile race only took them about 24 hours. We were just treating that race as more of a good training run for the dogs because we we're actually on our way to Lincoln, Montana uh, for me to compete in the 300 mile race to the sky. How they train for those 300 miles is right here in snowy Southwest Colorado. We're training at, um, in Durango, you know, nine, 10,000 feet elevation. So our dog's VO2 max is a lot better than a lot of these dogs that are training at lower elevation, just like any athlete. And the dogs, the duo says, live for this. It's what they love to do. I mean, dogs have been running sleds, pulling sleds for thousands and thousands of years. So this is like hardwired into their DNA. This is what they want to do. Well, you can tell that they love it. Now, the 300-mile race starts February 12th in Lincoln, Montana. The mushers want people to know that the dogs during the race are looked at by vets at checkpoints, and they care more about finishing with all their dogs happy and healthy over what time or place they get. Courtney from Fox 31.